my brothers and sisters, today, the last day of the Christmas season, and we see a wonderful story unfold before us, manifestation of God in a human form. Not to the Jews, the chosen people, but to the Gentiles. About sixth century before the coming of Christ, Iraq had conquered Jerusalem, in fact, the whole of Israel, and he slaughtered them. And those who could not, who survived, they were taken into slavery to Iraq. And about 50 years before the birth of Jesus, prophet is sent to them to tell them not to worry, not to be frightened, that he will send you a savior and he'll bring you to Jerusalem, your land, your home. Now, deliverance of the Jewish people was done in a very, very strange way. As you know, those nations in, in the East are always at war with one another. Iraq, Iran, Israel, so even though Iraq had conquered Israel at this time, it was Iran, a smaller nation than Iraq, conquered Iraq. And for the reason we don't understand, must be God's providence there, they let the Jewish people go back to Israel. And even their homes and cities were all destroyed some of even the Iraqis helped them to rebuild their cities and their homes, even though they were enemies at one time. This is what we don't understand. Unless your faith in God and know, you see, that somehow God in his, in his own ways, mysterious ways, takes care of his people, we understand that after it has happened, because it's mysterious, not the way we think, but the way God thinks. And it's always the wish of the Iraq and Iran to annihilate Israel, to wipe them out from the face of the earth, even today. And yet God saved them, again in a mysterious way. Not because they were good people, they were unfaithful to God, that is why they were taken into slavery. But for God, in his own reasons, saved them. And to this day, Israel exists. Because it is from there the Savior was to come. So what God knew, and what even was written, we did not know. We know centuries afterwards. So the problem before us is that you and I have found him in faith. Because we have not seen God as he is. He has revealed himself in a human form. But we always can know him better. We always can know more about him. And that is where our struggle lies today. So just like the Magi who came from far away in search of him and found him as a child, we never know you see, whether they ever saw him later on. The three kings. We know they saw him in, in the manger. But we have nothing is written about them after that. 
You and I therefore are on a journey. Journey to a real home in heaven. Now we know him by faith. But we have to go on as a searching for him. And that is a great mystery for us, you know. If we think we have found him, are happy with that, then we are mistaken. God can always find more and more, you know. And that is why our struggle today is always, where can I find Jesus, the real Jesus? How can I get to know him better? That is why the church has given us the scriptures. That's where it's written about him and the things to come. We have to take the trouble, therefore, to discover him more and more. It doesn't happen unless we do it, make it happen. God is the one who reveals himself, not us. But God cannot reveal, do, do that revelation without us. That is where the prayer and reflection comes in. If we don't do that, we'll never find any more of him. So let us therefore do that. We have a wonderful opportunity today in so many different ways is to read the scriptures and to meditate on them. Asking the Lord is to, Lord, let me know you, the real you, you know. Not of the my the way that I think I have found you. Nobody can find enough of you, it's because you are infinite. I'm so finite in my understanding. But God has given me capacity even to understand that it's infinite. No matter how we think, if we found it, or when we know something, we can always know more about it. Anything. Much more is the God. So let us do that, you know. Secondly, God has multiplied himself, you see, and made it very easy to find him. Our brothers and sisters, especially the sick, the poor, the vulnerable, those that are in any kind of difficulty, that is why he has identified himself in a very special way to make it easy for us to find him. It's an amazing story when you really get to know the real Jesus, you know. Because sometimes we think, you know, oh, I've got to know to Jesus, I've got to, I've got to go to the church, for an example. Which is a wonderful thing, because that's where he is in a special way, you know, in the Eucharist. But sometimes we're in our own home, you know. People that are in difficulty. He's there. Can you do something for that person? Can you help that person? Just like Jesus did at one time. Or maybe in the neighborhood. Whoever they might be. You know. St. Patrick's is known for that. For, we call it the hunger center. You know. Taking care of those you see, that are in need of some food or clothing. There are other things that you can do. You know. Another mistake that makes me think is, so I had to go to the church, my parish, to do those things. And there may be people in my very home that need help, one kind or the other. And you can't see that. We had to always go to the parish center, so to say. So let us ask the Lord today, see who has revealed himself to us, you know, in a mysterious way, so that we may always find him and find him more and more upon and get to know him better. <laughs>